What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black Walkthrough. Okay, so as you can see, the next Pokemon on our list is Darumaka, the Fire-type Pokemon. A very, very physical Pokemon, to be exact. Um, yeah, so we could have uh, just saved this all till the very end of Castellia City, but I kind of figured that I want to capture these Pokemon right now, train them up, and get ready to kick some ass within the next town right here too plus it would be a good addition for our team so let's go right ahead and capture this little bastard of course my Pokemon are somewhat a little bit overpowered because uh, yeah we've been training hard long and hard and all that stuff and here comes its uproar Daumaka is a very very physical Pokemon very physical and uh, we just we, yeah we gotta find a way to capture this guy before he hits us with a fire fang uh, he already made my drill monger faint one time, and uh, here comes that uproar again. And uh, there we go with a nice hit. It's a critical hit, so we're still spared, and we're both getting hit with a sandstorm right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, try and capture this guy right now. So let's see. Darun Maka. Let's see, what kind of Pokeball would I use for this guy? You know what? Let's go ahead and use a Nest Ball for this. Since he's, he is a little bit weaker to us. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the goddamn ball. Stay in the goddamn ball. Yeah, buddy. And that's how you do it. Peace sign everywhere. That's right. I'm throwing out the peace sign, guys. I am throwing out the peace sign. What's up? So here it is, guys. Our next team member, Darumaka, the Zen Charm Pokemon. When its eternal fire is burning, it cannot calm down and it uh, run and it runs around. When it fires or when it when the fire diminishes, it falls asleep. Of course, we're going to be uh, seeing this uh, a little bit later on right here. So, what kind of a nickname should we give Darumaka right here? I had the nickname figured out all along. And uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people call their Fire-type Pokemon this. But, who cares? I'm going to call this guy Hotshot. That's right. Hotshot. Because it's a tank of a Pokemon. I could have called it uh, Fire Tank. But, nah, nah it's, it's, too much. <laughs> it's too weird right there. So, welcome to the team, Hotshot. There we go. Um, stay tuned guys, a little surprise coming in just a little bit. What's up guys, it's me, another Pokemon trainer right here. Alrighty guys, so another Pokemon right here that we are bound to capture, it is Scraggy. That's right guys, Scraggy, Scraggy has been on my list for quite some time and I kind of want to capture him too. I've been having ideas of how to have him on my team. As, as you can see, it is both a dark and fighting type Pokemon, a very good combination. And, uh, well, it's going to be easier to capture than, uh, than Darumaka, because Darumaka's a tank! And, uh, well, I'm not trying to make a faint real quick right here. So, here we go. Rock Smash. Let's get this. Come on. Damn. Okay, so... It's the fence is lowered. Everything's good. It's throwing that sand attack at me, trying to get me all, uh... Yeah, okay. Alrighty, so... That's right, you are weakened. Well, let's go right ahead and capture this Pokemon right here. So, let's see, what kind of Pokeball should we use now? Hmm. We got a Heal Ball, Great Ball. Um. You know what, let's go with the Great Ball. I don't think I've captured anybody with a Great Ball yet. Here we go. Get in the Great Ball. Scraggy, you're mine. That's right, stay in there. And there we go. So, there you go, guys. The next Pokemon on our team... Scraggy, the fighting slash fi or the fighting slash dark type Pokemon. Wow, and uh, well, look at this. It's the shedding Pokemon right here, dark and fighting type. Its skin has a rubbery elasticity, so it can reduce damage by defensively pulling its skin up to its neck. Oh damn! Look at that. It's a pretty good Pokemon right there. So, what kind of a nickname would you give a uh, a uh, Scraggy? Very simple, guys. Very simple. Call me, uh, call me the lame, uh, the king of lame nicknames right here, but it's whatever. I'm gonna call this little, uh, little buddy right here, Shedar, or Shedder. <laughs> Shedder, because, you know, it sheds, it sheds its skin and all that stuff. And it kinda, it kinda sounds like, uh, like Shredder and all that stuff, so Shedder. Welcome to the team, Shedder. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, so, we did our capturing. And uh, we almost have a full team right here, so let's go ahead and check out our two new Pokemon, Shedder and Hotshot. So let's go ahead and take a look at this guy right here, Hotshot, the Darumaka. Of course, it has a mild nature and all that stuff. Level 17, and it's a fire-type Pokemon, and as you can see, 
It has a very, very good attack uh, stat. Um, not much of a special attacker, so any kind of move that, like, you know, has special attacks, like maybe Flamethrower or Incinerate, won't work perfectly with this guy, but if you have Flare Blitz or Fire Fang, like, right here, yeah, it's gonna work perfectly, and its ability is Hustle boosts the attack stat, but lowers the accuracy, which is kind of a... You know, it, it's kind of like a double-edged sword right there. Now, our next Pokemon right here, Shudder. That's right, it took me quite a while to find a Pokemon like this. It has a mild nature, and it's, of course, a dark and fighting type Pokemon right here. And its ability, this is the ability that I love for this Pokemon, and it's Moxie. Basically meaning it boosts its attack after knocking out any Pokemon right here. Now, it's kind of like a mixed attacker and all that stuff. It does have good special attack. But it's better on the physical side right here too so we're gonna be having a very 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 uh, physical team right here but remember guys we're gonna be uh we're, we're gonna be switching out our pokemon here and there so not all of these pokemon are gonna be here till the very end now we're going into the pokemon center and somebody's waiting right there and she's like want to recover pokemon oh sorry Alrighty, so we're gonna be healing up our pokemon and she's like do you know geonet oh you do know the uh, geonet great great and i Click the button a little too quickly. If you try Geonet, you can register the place that you live. That's cool. Alrighty, so I'm not going to do that, but I'm just going to restore my Pokemon right here because I, uh, I need healing. These Pokemon have done a lot. A lot, a lot. Oh, wow. That was a... Uh... Ugh. Alrighty. Okay, so everybody's waiting and full health and all that stuff. That's good. That's very, very good. Okay, so in this episode right here... If you guys haven't noticed, we are in Castelia City, a replica of New York City. Um, uh, I'm assuming we're going to be doing this in like maybe two episodes, maybe three, uh, just because of how big it is. Now, the first place we're going to be going to is the Pokemon uh, Trainer Battle Place, I think? Hold on, let me see. Battle Company. Talented Trainers, welcome to... Okay, so we're going to be going in here first because there's a specific item that we need to get... Just to just to help us with our training right here. Now, if you go up here, homeboy is gonna be like people who work in this building have Pokemon battles, not an option ba battles. You appear to be strong, but if you go upstairs, please be extra careful. Alrighty, so we qualified. That basically means that we qualified just to go up there. It's not 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 even we don't even have a choice or anything like that. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. He's like every morning my Pokemon wakes me up with wake up slap, so I always look like a wreck. But I appreciate it's good it's it's good intention, so I'll work my hardest to provide it for it today as always. Okay, that's a very good uh that's a very good uh, uh what was it called a uh, what was it called uh, alarm clock and everything. So here we have we're going up to uh, floor number forty seven right here and uh, okay so what we're going to be doing right here now is we're going to be training up our newest Pokemon plus Drillmonger and a few others Hotshot. I'm going to save until the last, uh, until the gym battle because, uh, yeah, that seems to be the place where we're going to be doing some stuff. It might be battling here or there, but we're going to get our prize right here. So let's go ahead and talk to this lady. Welcome to the battle company. Since you are here, battle with me. I won't take no for an answer. All right. <sighs> okay. Bring it on, lady. So here we have Clerk Ingrid. She will be coming out with her herd here. Alrighty, so I think I chose the right Pokemon for the job right here. Alrighty, let's go, Shatter. Show her what it's all about. We finally got ourselves a good Fighting-type Pokemon. The only downside to this Fighting-type Pokemon is it's also weak against Fighting-type Pokemon. Kind of ironic, huh? So, oh crud, it doesn't even have a Fighting-type attack. Hmm. Alright, let's go. Headbutt attack, and, uh, oh, wow, the Herdier is a little bit faster than us right now. You know, I could teach it Rock Smash... That's probably what I should have done. So let's go with Faint Attack and... Oh, God. Not so effective. Let's go, Shatter. Oh, God. Hate the flinching part. And there comes a takedown attack. And that takes a lot of HP right there. So, yeah. Okay. So we're going to be at this, we're gonna have to switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go to our very own Ace right here. Because we do have a fighting type attack. Alrighty. Let's go, Ace. And here he comes with another... Take down attack. That's right. Not so powerful right now. So let's go. Rock smash attack for the win. There we go. Herdier has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Eat that. Look at that. 
and Ace grows to level 24. That's always nice. And it's finally learning Crunch. Okay, so it's learning a better Dark type move here. So let's go ahead and just take that away. And uh, yeah, Ace forgets Bite, and it now learns Crunch, which is basically like a overpowered Bite or something. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so that's one down, and well, make sure to bring a lot of healing items, guys, because uh, these people these people don't take uh, things lightly right here. So, Shedder. I know you're new and all that stuff, but man, you gotta get with the program right now. And you know what? I know how it can get with the program. Let's see. Alright, so we have Rock Smash right here. It is a fighting type move. And, uh, well, we gotta teach it to Shedder right here just to make it a little bit more uh, easier on him. So we're gonna take away Sand Attack for the moment, Dean. And uh, there you go, Rock Smash. And then let's see. Eh, you know what? We can go with Work Up right here. We're going to give that to Hotshot right here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so let's go ahead and take away... You know what? Let's go ahead and take away uh, Uproar because it is a special attack. And uh, Hotshot, not much of a special attacker right here. And then let's see. Did I already teach my Pokemon Grass Knot? I want to know. Yeah, I already taught one of my Pokemon Grass now. So, there's not not a lot of stuff to do right here. So, let's go ahead and battle more Pokemon trainers. I am pleased to meet you. Please allow me to introduce my uh, to you my Pokemon. Okay. Let's do this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Gotta love drinking your water. So, there we go. Coming with a timber. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, I pretty much picked the wrong Pokemon for this one right here. So, we're going to have to switch out our Pokemon right now. Holy crud. Okay, so... Ooh, let's go with Psy of the Torrent. Alright, Psy. Let's get this. There we go. Let's see what we got. Bite attack. I'm not going to do much with the bite attack right here. Oh, jeez. Okay, so let's go Razor Shell. Let's go ahead and just try to destroy this guy. And as you can see, it's just pumping up nothing right there, and it avoided attack. So, technically, it will hit me with nothing. Look at that. Oh, yes. You gotta love that. Okay, so let's finish this guy off. Grass Knot for the win. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Okay, okay. Alrighty, so my Pokemon are gaining experience points, but these Pokemon trainers are just like, whatever. So let's go ahead and battle this lady right here, and she is going to be... Telling me, hee hee, I am better at Pokemon battles than I am at work. I think we're all doing that. I think we are all are. But we are the champs of the whole world right here. So here we go. Clerk Alberto would like to battle, and she will be coming out with her Petalil. Hmm. Okay. This seems like a time and a moment to use Hotshot. Okay. Let's go ahead and use China, the the man, the myth, the legend, Hotshot right here. Let's go. Let's do it. Alrighty. What's up, Hotshot? How you doing? And crud! There is that sleep powder. Oh, God. Gotta love that sleep powder. But good for us that we we equipped ourselves well with this. So let's go ahead and find ourselves... Yeah, there's an, an awakening right there. And let's go with Hotshot. And, uh, well, there's that Lee Sheed. Oh, God. God, I hate you. Alrighty. And, of course, we're getting our, our, our HP taken away right there. So, let's go right ahead and not use a sp that attack right here. Or, and, and let's go right ahead and use Fire Fang. One hit KO right here. Super effective. Very effective. So, you can see, Hotshot's a very good Pokemon to actually have as a Fire-type Pokemon. The only thing is, it's uh, special to attack. It's just, it's, it just sucks. Alright, so here we come with the Cotton Spore. Ah, crud. Oh god. Oh god. Here we go. Fire Fang, another one for the win. There we go. There we go. Alrighty. <laughs> so there it is. Defeated her. And let's grab this item right here. And we found ourselves a revive. Much needed item for, you know, those emergency uh, situations. And I think we have like three or four. No, we have four Pokemon trainers left, probably. I don't even know. Let's see what we can do with this guy. Oh, a company tour or some Pokemon practice. Either way, I'm glad you came. I'm so I'm happy, so I'll give you these. And we get ourselves quick balls. You know, for those uh those fast Pokemon right there that you uh you probably will encounter. And here he gives us another timer balls. Very, very good Pokeballs for like turn-based poke kind of capturing and all that stuff. 
So, let's go ahead and just uh, move on and battle some more Pokemon trainers like this guy. What does he have to say? Just because I'm a scientist, people think I'm so, I'm so serious. Well, aren't all scientists as uh, serious? I just want to know that. I really do. I want to know. Alrighty, so here we go. We're taking on some Randall right here, and he's coming out with his Rog and Rolla. Okay, Shatter. You know a fighting type move now. You know a fighting type move now, so let's go right ahead and use that uh, special defense. <laughs> no, let's go ahead and use that Rock Smash attack. Hell yeah. And uh, it's super effective, but it is not going to make him faint right now. So let's go right ahead and do this again. Rock Smash for the win. Again. Oh, God. Okay, so we're just going to... Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have to take some accuracy right here. God dang it. All right, here we go. Come on. Let's go, Shedder. Do it for the Cheddar. Give him all the Cheddar. And a crud, a mud slap. And we're getting blinded. We are getting blinded like no other. So here we go again. Rock smash. Come on. Ah, God dang it. So at this point, we're kind of blind. Damn you, Shedder. Okay, so uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, you know what? Drillmonger. Let's get this Drillmonger right here. All right, Drillmonger, you won't, you won't get fainted or anything like that. Here comes a Rock Blast. Will it do it? No, it can't because it's not super effective. That was a critical hit by. Oh crud! Oh crud! Uh, oh come on! Uh, okay, I see how it is. Five at times. Alrighty. Okay. Two can play at that game. Metal Claw. There we go. Yeah, buddy. That is how you do it. Alrighty. So there we go with another Pokemon trainer down. And Shatter finally grows to level 18 by not doing anything. <laughs> Alrighty. So that guy's down. And yeah, you know what? I gotta heal up my Pokemon right now. Alright, so let's see. Now let's go ahead and use up all, most of these potions right here. Let's go with the uh, Drillmonger. And uh, give this guy right here, that guy right there, and that guy right there. So we're all clear. We're all in the clear. And uh, well, let's see if we can battle this businessman right here. So clerks exchange business cards. Trainers, of course, greet each other with a Pokemon battle. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So let's go. Bring it. Here we have another Pokemon trainer named Clerk, and his name is Warren, and he will be coming out with a crud. Basculin. I hate these Pokemon. These guys are like super speedy and annoying. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. Let's go right ahead. Headbutt right here. And uh, Basculin, of course, is a faster Pokemon than us. And uh, here we go. Let's make him flinch. Make him flinch every single time. Come on. Let's go. Oh, crud. Another chip away at us. Chip away at there we go. And here we go one more time with the headbutt. And here he comes with the knockout -like jack. God dang it. Damn it, Cheddar. Come on. Uh, damn. God dang. So we are in a conundrum right here. We might faint. And uh, yeah, there is that ship away attack right there. Oh, look at that. It stayed. That's right. <laughs> and there it goes. It's Moxie tech uh, ability right there. Oh, uh, yes. And uh, it's going to come out with another Basculin. So I'm not going to take that risk right now. And we're going to be going to Sigh of the Torrent. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's get this. We're going to be going with Sigh of the Torrent. He's not going to be using any kind of water type attacks. He's just going to be using Grass Knot. Oh, uh, yes. For the win. Oh, damn. You know, these Basculin are freaking annoying. They are so annoying to me. They really are. Oh my god! And that's mainly because they always try to go, uh, try to get you, uh, get you first, uh, or try to get the first attack on you. So, yeah, you could suck a dick right there, Basculin. Yeah, buddy. Look at that, level 25, and we're learning Water Pulse. Okay, alrighty. So we're getting, we're getting another Water type move. We're gonna take away Focus Energy and just keep these two uh, Water type attacks for just the time being. You know, that kind of stuff. Alrighty, and he's going to be coming out with another Basculin, so let's just take care of this guy and his freaking Basculins. So god dang annoying. Rest not. For the win! There we go. Oh god. God damn you. 
God damn you. You, like, basculins. I freaking hate basculins. Alrighty. And there you go, guys. Basculin has been defeated, and look at that. Man, I... Okay. If I had to choose a Pokemon in you know that I hate the most, it's gotta be Basculin. And this guy's like, I am in charge of development. I'm gonna give you this because you came here for a company tour. And we get ourselves a scope lens, which actually enables us to... Well, it heightens our, our critical hit chances and all that stuff. So that's pretty good right there. Good items. So now we're gonna be going up to the top floor. And uh, there is something there that we need. Uh, of course, I accidentally pressed that number one button. God dang it. All right, so let's go back. Let's go to the very last one right here. For the win. 55th floor. God dang, that's tall. Okay, so we got quite a few trainers here. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so there's an item right there. Yeah, buddy. We got ourselves a hyper potion. Always nice. And uh, let's see. Who needs some training right here? You know what? Let's go switch it up to Drillmonger. So just got to level 20 right there. And uh, let's see. We got to heal our Pokemon too. Can't go without he healing our Pokemon. So let's use a Super Potion onto this guy right here. There we go. And let's do this. Bring it. And uh, what does he have to say to us? My work is Pokemon battles. Okay. That's good. Man, I wish my po my work was Pokemon Battles too, but no. So here we go. Clerk Ivan wants the battle, and he's coming with this Hoobat. Ah, oh, crud. I think I picked the wrong Pokemon for this one right here. Eh, you know what? Screw it. Hate Hoobats anyways. Here we go. Metal Claws. Let's get it. And, uh, why are you using Imprison? I don't know. I don't even know. Okay, so here we go again. Metal Claw. And, uh, what does that heart stamp do? Oh, damn! Critical hit? Good god! Didn't even know that was gonna happen. For me, it almost, like, it took three hits. This guy only took one. Good god. Alrighty. I hate you. I hate you with a passion. God dang it. So, yeah, I did say that my Pokemon were gonna be challenged right here, so... We got a challenge. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take on uh, this lady if she wants to tackle us. Yes, I found a wonderful trainer. I will research you immediately. Okay. Alrighty. Bring it on. Alrighty. And she will be coming out with the Muna, which, you know, I chose the right Pokemon for. Hell yes. Alrighty. Let's go, Ace. And uh, Forewarn is telling us about a takedown, but what they don't know is crunch attack before this X special god dang it with these scientists them and their special attacks and stuff here we go X attack yeah buddy nearly beats him here we go again and there you go that is how you do it that's right Samantha doesn't like uh, getting beaten like that so that's another Pokemon trainer down and uh, okay so again we're gonna be using some potions right here because why not? So let's go give that to uh, Drillmonger. We're going to need to stock up later on right here. Good God. All right. Uh, all right. So since Ace did such a good job, let's go back to Shedder and see what we can do right here. Hopefully we're going up against a nice parent right here. Oh, the ominous sound. Songs and all that stuff. Oh, an unfamiliar face. To help scientific progress, please lend me a hand. Okay. All righty. Bring it. Here we go with another scientist, and his name is Steve, and he will be coming out with a Siwada. Oh, crud. I think I told you guys that I did want to capture a Siwada at one point. Hmm, kind of thinking to myself that I probably should. I don't know. Nah, you know what? I'm just going to go with the faint attack, and like always, they will like to use uh, any kind of uh, X attacks on you. And... Uh, well, let's go with that headbutt attack right here. Let's go. Come on, Shatter. And, uh, yes. You gotta love it. You gotta love it, that string shot. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go. Faint attack and crud! Bug bite. Jesus Christ. That is one stubborn worm with a leaf for a hat. Okay, here we go. And, uh, here comes another bug bite. And, uh, Jesus criminy! Ugh, oh, God. Okay, so, as you can see, we got a lot of work to do with, uh, with Shatter right here. 
It's getting its butt kicked every single time, but look at that. It grows to level 19. It's always good. Okay, so we defeated uh, Steve right here. Alrighty. Okay, so uh, you know what? We're going to have to switch this guy out. Uh, don't want to waste anything else. Well, let's go with Drillmonger. Hopefully... Hopefully we, 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 we have better tr uh, better luck with this guy. Now, I'm checking the trash cans to see if there's any kind of items. There's not. Here we go. Who is the next guy right here? And I was about to take a break. Then I met you. Alrighty. Okay. Let's do this. So here we go. Clerk Wade would like to battle, and he's coming with his uh, pants here. Man, are all these Pokemon trainers have uh, elemental monkeys, or were they just bored? I don't even know. Alright, let's go. Dig attack. That's right, you cannot hurt my Drillmonger. Alrighty. What's up? What's up? There it is. There we go. Dig attack for the win! Eat it! That's right, level 21 in all. And he's coming out with a Pampor, so I don't have a grass type for this. So let's go straight for Sigh of the Torrent. Hopefully. You know, that grass not will actually work for us right there. So, there it is. Panpour would like to battle us. And here we go, Grass Knot. That's right. We got the Grass Knot. Ah, oh, crud. It has a bite attack. Oh, God. So, here we go, Grass Knot. There it is. There we go. And that's how you do it. And then he's going to be coming out with a pants age, so, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and go with Hotshot right here. Now, I haven't featured Hotshot in quite a long time. I think it needs a little fresh of breath there, right there. So, here we go. Hotshot going up against a uh, pants age, and here we go. Fire Fang. Oh, crud. You gotta love that bite attack, but here we go. Fire Fang for the win. It is a tank. A tank for physical attacks. And there you go. Hotshot grows to level 18, which is always great. Yeah, buddy. And he's like, this encounter was a good one for you. Yes, it was. Okay, so who is next? It's this guy we met at the front. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Oh, you are the Pokemon trainer I met in the entrance. You've come this far. Th that means that you're quite strong. Are you prepared to face the strongest person in this building? Are you prepared to face the chairman? Wait, it's a chairman? You're a chairman? What the hell? But you look like a janitor. Good God. Okay, bring it. Then the time has come. I am the one! I accept your challenge! No special music or anything like that, just, uh, you know... No special, uh, music, just battling this guy. And he looks like a deranged, uh, janitor right here. And here he comes out with a new Pokemon that we haven't seen. Trubish! Luckily for me, I kinda knew, I kinda knew what he was doing. Or I kinda knew who he was. So let's go right ahead and, uh, use our ground-type attacks against this guy. There we go. Dig attack. Yeah, buddy. You cannot stop me. You will not stop me. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, here we go. Dig attack. Yeah. There we go. Trubish. Eliminated. Looks like a big old trash can or something. And here he comes out with the Min Minichino, or Minchino. Yeah, I, can't, I couldn't even pronounce that name right. So, let's go right ahead and use Metal Claws. Destroy this guy. Let's scratch the crud out of him. Look at that. Look at that. And, uh, ooh, giving us an encore. You screwed yourself, homie. You screwed yourself. Here we go. Metal Claw. Again. Oh, yes. And, uh, oh, crud. There's that double attack. Now, I wonder why they would always have an encore attack. Doesn't it, like, isn't it kind of like a gamble using a, a, a or a, an encore attack? I think it is. I don't know. Here we go. Metal Claw does it. And, uh, well, <laughs> The last attack actually raises its attack, which is always fun. And there you go. We defeated the janitor. Yes, I cleaned up house. That is awesome. That's great. I disguise myself as a janitor because I like to show what kinds of trainers come here. I had a good time battling you. This is a token of my esteem. Please accept this. And after that, we get ourselves a, an experience share, which is very much needed right now. A Pokemon holding an experience share gets some experience points from every battle, even if it's not involved. That's right, I may be you it may be useful for raising weak Pokemon. Well, like I said, it is very it's very much needed right now since we do have five Pokemon on our team. Um, that experience share will be going to uh, I wanna say I wanna say Shedder for right now. That way I can start using uh, that way I can start using Hotshot a little bit more. 
because to me, Shatter, it needs a, it needs to gain a few more experience points in order to learn a few good moves and all that stuff. But that is pretty much the episode for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be back tomorrow for another episode of Pokemon Black. See you guys.